And we see, fitting in with that, how the power of TV in the London Independent, how watching 20 hours of TV halves the sperm count, and it fits right in. It's a behavioral thing. It's mainly having to do with the sedentary lifestyle, yet you see the results of that behavior fitting with the eugenics propaganda and the general cultural programming. Sit in front of your babysitter, uh, sit in front of your babysitter and watch the world uh, slip away. Of course, the Super Bowl occurred this past Sunday, the Stuper Bowl, the mass cultural brainwashing event where they get everyone to tune in and just celebrate this domination of sports, culture, bread and circuses. Melissa Melton has a special report breaking all this down and why we saw Illuminati symbolism during the halftime performance with Beyonce and why the lights went out. I'm Melissa Melton reporting for InfoWars Nightly News. The day after the Super Bowl, the top story on Yahoo.com was, did Beyonce flash an Illuminati sign? Next to a picture of Beyonce making a pyramid hand symbol, the article goes on to say, according to legend, the Illuminati are a tiny super secret cabal of influential individuals who have shaped the course of world events. So it makes perfect sense that Beyonce would flash their triangle sign to one of the largest viewing audiences in human history. What better way to preserve a secret? That's a definite possibility. Founded by Bavarian professor of law Adam Weishaupt in 1776, the Illuminati is considered the most notorious secret society, a sect bent on manipulating reality and dominating through a world government. These so-called illuminated ones have been referred to by some as Satan's elite, whom they worship. Their symbol is a pyramid to illustrate the idea of a top-down societal control system and the pyramid features an all-seeing eye, or the eye of Lucifer. InfoWars has reported extensively on the history of the Illuminati, their birthplace, their prevalence in popular culture, music, movies, and their intent to dominate the world. While the article's language seems to sarcastically play off Beyonce's hand gesture is no big deal, this isn't the first time we've seen questionable symbolism at the Super Bowl. Look at these screenshots we've got from um, last night's Super Bowl performance by Madonna. And then uh, you can also Google image search for yourself and type in Baphomet. And of course, we see that Madonna is dressed up as Baphomet. She's sitting on the throne of Baphomet. She's got the horns. Uh, later on, she's got the hand gestures of Baphomet. And this is the idol that the American people during Super Bowl halftime show are being told to worship. So, who's Baphomet? Baphomet is an idol used by Satanists to represent the devil. This also isn't the first time we've seen questionable symbolism from Beyonce. The pagan deity Baphomet, a figure revived in the 19th century as an idol for Satan worship, has been prominently featured in her videos and album artwork, and she even wears a Baphomet ring. And Beyonce isn't the only music star by far who's been called out for having hidden symbolism in her videos. The Yahoo article claims that Beyonce is merely supporting her husband's record label, but if this symbol is a diamond and not a pyramid, why are he, Beyonce, and other stars seen looking through it with one eye? In addition, let's analyze this shirt sold under Jay-Z's clothing label. It again depicts the pyramid hand symbol with the all-seeing eye atop it and 13 rays of light coming out of the sides, encircled by a serpent and other smaller symbols with the tagline, Masters of the Craft, at the bottom. Jay-Z has also had some interesting critiques of hidden messages in his music as well. Jay-Z, H to the Izzo, V to the Izzo, Jehovah God, that's what he calls himself. We just happen to come across a very disturbing song by brother Jay-Z and has a backwards message in it and we have to reverse the song and play the song backwards. Six, six, six. Murder, murder, Jesus. Six, six, six. And the rapper has gone on record wondering why people have linked him to devil worship and the Illuminati. When asked by radio personality Angie Martinez if these rumors of deliberately adding images to his videos were true, Jay-Z responded, no, never done that before. Why would I do that? That's retarded. But here's a clip of another interview where Jay-Z actually admits he hides messages in his music. And then I start doing, uh, you know, these different, uh, you know, hidden, hidden messages in the music, you know, just, just as a, that replaced, you know, the technical aspect of it. 
And then it just, you know, evolved from there. The Super Bowl aside, we've seen other curious eye symbolism at major events. At the one-year anniversary of 9-11, the band marched out onto Ground Zero in what appeared to be an all-seeing eye formation. Are all of these mere coincidences? Many people ask, if the Illuminati is such a super-secret cabal and they're so devious, why are they openly hiding their symbols in plain sight? In his book Secret Societies and Psychological Warfare, Michael Hoffman II calls this revelation of the method, or advertising one's power openly to amplify it, gloating and flaunting the idea that resistance is futile before an unsuspecting public. Are all of these established Illuminati symbols supposed to acclimate people subconsciously to a darker agenda, or are we really supposed to believe that all-seeing eyes and pyramids and Baphomet costumes are going to be the new theme for the Super Bowl every year? And what is the average person supposed to think about this continuous symbolism inundation? Or is the truth that they're not supposed to think at all, but just go along with their regularly scheduled programming. I mean, how many coincidences can you have before it's not a coincidence anymore? These are overt messages of elite domination by a covert group parading a pageant of mass conditioning before the public in a culture dominated by television at a sporting event watched by millions every year. And many do not even realize what's happening. If it doesn't mean anything, why is it there? For InfoWars Nightly News, I'm Melissa Melton. And that's an excellent report. So why are we seeing this manifestation of clearly Masonic, Illuminati, secret society images? Well, this is a mass cultural rite. It has all the trappings of a religious pageant. It, but instead of being Christmas, instead of being Easter, uh, the festivities of other religions, this is the modern day social engineering religious rite where they ask everyone to come together, clear their schedule, make a special get together for the Super Bowl, tune in to a maximum audience event and it's a focus point for this top-down symbolism, uh, which is manifest covertly. That's right, the masses of people are not supposed to catch on what these symbols mean. They're supposed to think about them primarily subconsciously, where it affects them almost like a wound. And then as they continue watching TV through the days, through the hours, they see different varieties of these symbols reappear, and they affect them subconsciously. People like Carl Jung explain how that affects the archetypes and what that does to human behavior, emotional response and our thinking and development, it has a profound effect. And it's this whole uh, perfect storm where the population has learned to love bread and circuses and particularly has learned to admire the celebrities they see on television who uh, proceed over these events. People like Madonna, Beyonce, Lady Gaga, but the other, re the other normal performers as well, the people in Hollywood, and those people are on the inside circle. They have privileged get-togethers, special parties, parties where they feel included and want to climb the power structure, and thus they're invited to secret societies, places like Bohemian Grove uh, or the other types of secret societies, uh, you know, for the politicians, Bilderberg, and this is the continuation of the Illuminati system. Black entertainers and black uh, spokespeople have the Boule, the secret society that's allegedly connected with Skull and Bones. There's a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff here, a lot of allegations about trauma-based mind control producing some of these celebrities and it totally fits with this ritual, this pageant, where they display a symbol the public isn't meant to understand, and it's meant to hit them subconsciously as they respect and admire and tune into these entertainers. They're being bombarded with a message which primarily reinforces that the elite are in control, that they're at the top of the pyramid, and that their all-seeing eye is looking down upon you. We have to talk about these symbols, analyze them, decode them, break them down, and break that conditioning. We have to break out of the social conditioning, turn on off the television set and stop letting it run our lives. And that, folks, is the essence of the info war. They have tried to manufacture our consent. They have tried to shutter our minds, keep us in a tiny spectrum of thought. We must recognize the effect of mass media, the attempt to socially engineer us into annihilation, and we must say no. Spread the word, spread the truth. We turn now to our daily quote, which has some of this in mind. It comes from Winston Churchill. A lie gets halfway around the world before the truth has a chance to get its pants on. We'll be back again tomorrow. Thanks for watching the InfoWars Nightly News. Spread the word. Subscribe at PrisonPlanet.tv. Fight the InfoWar at PlanetInfoWars.com and never stop until we turn this thing around. Good night.